oh my god i just rolled out a freaking smoker let's go see jason you know how we said there's an artisan in this village found some of his work look at it dude ha! i mean you cannot ask for a more beautiful place to spend your evenings looking for artifacts if you missed the video where i asked about this um we believe this is a native american workbench we think that they were sharpening their uh tools on it and cutting fish you know on a scale of one to ten how awesome is that spring i'm giving it a ten we're back we're gonna dig over here where from the very first sifting video where jason found those two killer points we've been a good ways that way finding what we've been finding in the last three or four videos but i've been itching to get back to this side he dug jason dug a test hole found three or four broken and a hole knife yeah a whole knife so we're gonna get over here the sun's gonna be setting so i'm gonna shut up and uh yeah let's dig some holes and hopefully find some artifacts all right here's my progress so far man this stuff is rudy but jason said that he's got um I just pulled out a nice broke tip and the very next rock as soon as i got back to my hole i thought it was just a broke piece but it's a little reworked point oh wow a little bird point Show sure enough. That's, a, that's only the second bird point from <laughs> is here. Is that not it? cool? Yeah, it is. That's a good sign of broken in that. Yeah, I mean, back to back. Two rocks in a row. Yeah. Well, this birdie didn't have a good day. No. He did. Guy. All right, onward. Over here, we got the river, and then it comes up to a little high spot. Goes back down, and then it comes back up on a flat right here. Taking the probe, filling around for rock. I hit rocks, I hit some rocks while I go, but there's a rock, rock, rock. Let's just get down in here and see if there's any debitage right here. I'm not gonna spend too much time if I'm not seeing a good bit of debitage. But we know there's rocks down in here because we just hit them. There's a little flake. We can't just go by debitage alone because, I mean, it's hard to not find debitage at this site. But what we're looking for is are the places where it's it's thicker in debitage. Well, I kept using the probe. Finally got on a spot with some rocks over here. It's, it's covered in flint. But uh, here's my hole. And I just pulled the top layer back and just found that. It's really, really crude. But I'll take it. Nothing fancy, but it's definitely a point. All right, onward. Jason just hollered camera, and I'm glad he did because I'm gonna have to go in just a minute. I'm glad he found something before I had to leave. Who found it? Marlon found something. What you got, what you got? You got a pretty nice one. It just fell right out. <laughs> oh yeah. Thin. Yeah, that is nice. I'm gonna have to go in just a minute, unfortunately. What? Yeah. Found that big something scraper something right before that. It's laying back together. Yeah. Jason's getting on down there. Y'all still in rock down there? He's in a bunch of rock right down there too. That's a good. That's good. I'm in a bunch of rock too, but it's just rocks. Greetings. I am back. We got James with me. Y'all ain't seen him in forever. But uh, I, I left my hole kind of open and uh, I kind of ran out of rock in the first layer. So I decided to go deeper and I believe I got one right here. Let's see, got the right shape and everything. Got a good point, whatever it is. Oh yeah. That's a nice one. Dang, I've, I've needed that. I've been on a dry spell. Let's rub it off. Yeah. Oh, yeah it's pretty. Some pretty material right there. The last video I posted, y'all just saw Jason digging a bunch of stuff in Marlin. But I'm on the board. Here's some broke pieces I found. It's on that broke base right there. And uh, there was another rock over here. I believe that's one that's just real crude and a big old worked piece of quartz. But I guess I'm going to go deeper and... See what I can pull out. That's the deepest I've gone over in this section, so stick around. 
So I had some black showing in the sidewall and I started to get the camera. I guess I can't give Jason a hard time because I, I just, I'm trying to widen my hole so I can go deeper, but look what I just rolled out. It was sitting right up here. As you can see, I'm winding my hole right here because I can't scrape because the handle's hitting this root. Look at that. Man, that's nice. I'll take that all day. It's about time. Good God, I've been on a slump. Jason and Marlon's been kicking my butt. All right, onward. Maybe Jason's my bad luck and James is my good luck charm. I got something showing here. I don't know if it's broke, but I do see serrations on the side. I just rolled it out from under that root. Look at that. Oh gosh, man, that's pretty. It's broke, but man, that's whole enough for me to be happy. Yeah, Look at that edge. It's a knife. Good God. Thank you. Man. Heck yeah. God, I ain't had a day this good in a in ever. I don't think. Looking for these things over here, it's like one. I'll find one on one day, and then a week later, I'll find two and. I'll take that. I don't care if it's broke or not. Look at that. All right, onward. We're running out of daylight. Well, I'm back out here where me and James left off uh, last night. I had probably one of my better days out here. Um, I think I found three or four points and a broken knife. Left everything out here. We got permission to leave our holes open. So I think a lot of the stuff that I was finding was in the sandy layer. So I think I'm gonna go get my sifter and set it up. So stick around. I got the big shovel with me. Stick around and hopefully I can have another killer day. All right, here's where we left off. A lot of people have been asking us, why are y'all just scratching around and digging and not sifting? Well, it's partly because in Georgia, there's not a, uh, no, even down here by the river, a lot of the dirt still has like clay in it and it just turns into balls. But uh, last night on this spot right here, I was actually in a really sandy layer and that's where most of the stuff I found came from. So I figured it wouldn't hurt to, uh, to sift it. I don't know how deep the artifact layer goes, but we'll see. I haven't tried this sifter out yet. I made it to be used on your uh, knees. But yeah, it doesn't sift like you'd think. But yeah, it turns into these little, these little balls. And yeah, you probably don't have to go through those every time. A point will probably bust out of them. But it's still, I hate thinking about missing something. All right, that's the first sift. I wanted to do it live with y'all. I'm going to start moving some dirt and I'll turn this thing back on when I got a sifter with some good rock in it. I've widened my hole. Started hearing some good rock. I'm trying to be easy not to break anything. You hear that? So. Got a lot of topsoil in it too though. I see something right there. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, look at that. This is only the third sift. Oh my God, that base is gorgeous. Why does the tip have to be gone? Look at that. Yeah, I knew, I had a feeling that if I brought the sifter over here in this sandier stuff, sweet, heck yeah. All right, y'all stick around. I think we're gonna find some stuff today. Onward. You guys are not gonna believe this. All right, let me show you what I'm doing. In this topsoil, there's not a lot of rock, but right under the roots, this where there's a layer of rock. Well, I'm prying the root, I'm cutting into the roots, prying the top layer up, and then just knocking the rock layer out to put in the sifter. And look what I just rolled out. Do you guys see that right there? Look at that. Oh my God, y'all. I'm finally on a decent spot over here. Let 
Man, that thing's gorgeous. Man, oh man. Oh. Maybe bringing James was just my good luck. I don't know. I haven't dug with him in forever. And if you uh, if you go back two or three years on the YouTube channel, he was in almost all of our videos from the beginning. But uh, he works all the time now. But uh, anyways, this is a killer, killer spot I'm in right now. I need to call Jason. Onward. I want to show you these with some water on them before I get to... Before I start sifting again. I didn't get all the dirt off my hands. So dang dirty. There's that one. Somebody commented and said that I'm not showing the um, the artifacts long enough. And I try, I really do try to take into consideration all y'all's comments on Facebook and TikTok and YouTube. I do read almost every comment if I have time. Hey, same thing that happened a while ago. Cutting under these roots, knocking the dirt back, and I see this sticking out of the edge. It's going to have a small tip ding, I believe, if it's whole. But it looks like it's gonna. I, I wiggled it and it felt whole. I mean, it felt like most of it was there. Look at this. Check it out. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that. I'm not even mad about that tip ding. Well. I've I have officially gotten out of my dry streak. Onward, come on, guys. Oh my God. I just rolled out a freaking smoker. Haven't picked it up yet. The only bad thing about it is there's nobody here to celebrate it with. Jason is way over there. I tried calling him, but he's probably 10 feet deep by now. I hope it's whole. Look at this, y'all. Do you see that? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's one of my best ones to date. I'm gonna have to walk it over there and show it to Jason. I wanna get y'all's, uh, his reaction live. I think there's going to be more in here. It's so gravelly. Oh my goodness. I'll, I'll clean it up in a minute and show y'all when I get to Jason. <sighs> this hobby is so, it can be so frustrating, but good God, when it, when it rewards you, it rewards you. Let's go see Jason. Looks like Jason's packed it up. He's going to have to come get by me. You know how we said there's an artisan in this village? Found some of his work. Yeah, it ain't as nice as that pickwick you dug, but. <laughs> Look at it, dude. Ha! Oh my God. Dude, you gotta come get over there where I'm at. I've already dug five. I was headed that way. It's freaking hot out here. I can get it out of there. Is that not beautiful? Oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I, I about fell out. I bet. Holy crap. I was just taking my spade real easy under the roots, knocking stuff out and then sifting it. And that thing just rolled out. And that needle. I just took off running. Didn't have nobody to run to. Yeah, that's what's digging by yourself. Yeah. Man, that's beautiful. You need some help toting some of this stuff? Nah, I just got... I was soaking wet sweat, dude. I gotta get a canopy to dig out here. Yeah, it's hot. <sighs> it's hot, man. Let's get yeah, over there, man. Like, like you're sweating, too. Yeah, it's, uh, it's over there, man. It's another spot just like that one you were in. Onward. I just uh, took a plate of food down by the water's edge and figured it'd be a pretty good place to eat my lunch. Just listening to the water on this river that I love so much. And it got me thinking about the Native Americans um, whose artifacts that I'm digging up. I know that they didn't have the conveniences that we have, like modern medicine, cars, planes, television, refrigeration. But my heart got a little heavy thinking about what they did have. And by that, I mean they had a deep 
understanding of how to exist in the natural world around them in a way that no modern man will probably ever replicate. Um, their life expectancies might not have been as long, but I bet you that their lives were, for the most part, richer. And uh, it just makes, when I have moments like that where I just reflect, it just makes these items just so much heavier and I appreciate them so much, especially since I'm an avid bow hunter. It's so awesome to find a spear point or a bow and arrow point or an atlatl point and just as many hours as I've dedicated to archery, I mean, I would never have anything on those, those, those people. And uh, this hobby is fueled by a deep admiration um, for those people. I think a lot of people think that people like me are just out here for trying to find artifacts to sell them or grave robbers. No, I'm not, I'm not digging any graves and I don't sell anything. I've never sold anything I've ever dug. I just really love history. And I really have a deep admiration for the Native Americans who were here before the white man came. But, uh, yeah, sorry for the long chat. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, let's get back to digging. Maybe I'll find something awesome.